Okay, good. There you go, Jimmy. Thank you. Work some live wells. There you go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. Out here, practice second half of the day on Neely Henry. I got the BFL FLW tournament tomorrow. It is going to be a packed house. So, I came up the lake about, I don't know, 20 minutes from where takeoff is at. I fished around takeoff this morning. We had us a little friendly competition. We smashed them, guys. I, I caught some good ones this morning. If you have not seen that video, go check it out. It was like the last one I posted on my YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I got a ton of videos I push out uh, at least three days a week on my channel. So I'm excited to get out here. We're gonna keep pre-fishing and tournaments tomorrow. I'm gonna be filming the whole tournament. I'm excited. Let's get out there, see if we can catch some of these spotted bass, largemouth bass that live on Neely Henry Lake here in Alabama. And I'm gonna be fishing probably a little bit deeper than I did this morning. I caught some on top water this morning, but it's warmed up, it's gotten hot, I feel a little burnt. Probably gonna be throwing a shaky head, a jig, and maybe some deep cranks. We'll just see what happens. We're gonna go out here, try to find some big bass. I'm excited, let's go. There's one. All right. All right. First one of the afternoon. Little spotty. Ate the shaky head. I'm fishing a channel swing on the bank with some docks. There you go. A little 13, 14 inch spot. Not too bad. Spots are pretty. Okay. We're going to keep working down this bank. Then we're going to go back in the cove, probably hit some docks. Keep searching for them. All right. I'm fishing the shaky head. I'm casting it up there to the edge of the rocks and letting it sink to the bottom. And I'm hopping it once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Just tiny little twitches. And the spots, largies, I caught my PB on this bait right here. So just come over to it and smash it. If you're looking for one bait, I recommend you can use all over the country. It's this right here, a shaky head with a finesse worm right there. And that's, that's my confidence bait if I need to catch a fish anywhere in the country, any lake, pond, anywhere. Doesn't work so well in the middle of grass, but everywhere else you can catch fish on it. There's one. Hey, he feels kind of small. <laughs> kind of. Really small. Another spotted bass. Nothing like this morning, guys. Oh, my. Nice little guy, though. Hey, I won't complain. Small or, small or big, spotted bass fight hard. Put spot lock on here. My worm is torn up. Oh, yeah, that's a decent fish right there. He was under that bridge. Woo, got the net on him. Oh, come on. That's a good one. That is a good fish right there. That's what we've been after. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Three, three and a half pounder on the bridge. Oh yeah, that's a stud. That is a stud. Check that one out. What's he fishing with? Shaky head. Yeah. That's my third one this size for the day. Hey, that's good. But I've caught some smaller ones. There we go. Tournaments tomorrow. You got a YouTube channel? I do. That's what it is, 
It's fishing with Nordby. With who? My last name's Nordby, N-O-R-D-B-Y-E. I'm gonna go subscribe. Yeah, type it in. All, all the videos from this will be on it. Gotcha, buddy. We got a tournament tomorrow. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. See you, buddy. Beautiful. All right, guys. Just getting back to my buddy TJ's house from Kayak USA. He's running the camera. Say what's up. What up, guys? Make sure you subscribe to TJ's channel, Kayak USA. I'll link it below. If you did not see the pre-fishing video from this morning, I fished against him in a tournament and another guy. We did a 1v1v1 and it was fun. Go see who won. We caught some good fish. But this afternoon was a little tougher, you saw. Only got a few bites, only brought a few fish in the boat, shook a couple off, but that's pre-fishing. So I'm giving you guys a little wrap up of practice. I only fished one day today. And the BFL is tomorrow here on Neely Henry. So I'm retying, getting rods rigged up, I caught three fish over three pounds today and shook a couple off that I think were probably right around the same size. So if I'd have caught all those, I'd have had a really good day here on Neely Henry. What do you think uh, a good sack is out here, TJ? Uh, probably 12, 13 pounds. 12, 13 for a decent sack. So it's probably going to take 15 to 18 to win. Yep. And... We can potentially do that tomorrow, guys. So, one of the big ones I caught today was on Castaic's new spinnerbait, the Atlas spinnerbait. That dude right there caught, caught me my biggest one today, about four pounds. I actually caught it on a, a white and chartreuse one, um, but I'm going with a solid white tomorrow. It's, water's clearing up just a tiny bit, and I don't throw it with a trailer. They have a few extra long strands and this thing shimmies and has amazing action in the water. Pretty cheap little spinnerbait too. They priced it right. So we're tying that on tomorrow. I'm retying everything. When, when you have a tournament, you wanna to make sure you retie everything. Check your line on all your rods. Make sure you're ready to go. You do not wanna break off on tournament day. So, and I tied on a little square bill. Probably gonna hit some rip wrap tomorrow. You always wanna bounce a square bill off a rip wrap. Already got that one tied up. We might hit some Kissimmee grass fishing shallow. So, like I did in Eufaula, you saw I caught some big ones on a swim jig in Eufaula. I threw it a little bit today, but not very much. But I got it tied on just in case the spot looks perfect for a swim jig. Catch them here too. So, that one is tied on. I got me a little June bug lizard Texas rig tied on to skip up under docks with a spin rod. Uh, places I can't get with my bait caster. I can skip with my bait caster. It's just quicker and no backlashes with that spinning reel. The bait that really did the work this morning for me caught a lot of my fish and caught three of my bigger fish was this guy right here. This little buzz bait. It's a man, I hate telling you guys what kind of buzz bait this is. I've fished this buzz bait so much, the head, all the paint's gone, it's lead. And I've put a new skirt on it, added some purple to my black and blue. This buzz bait I'll link down below in my gear allows you to go slower than your normal buzz bait and it sounds really good in the water. It doesn't have a clack to it, it has a bloop, 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 and you can go slow and man, they just come up to it and eat it. Sometimes they don't even come out of the water. Um, excited to get on top water tomorrow. I'm boat 102 out of 103. That's my draw. So pretty bad draw, but we're gonna stay close to the ramp. I'm only gonna go two miles to each side of takeoff tomorrow. So I'm not going very far. That's where I caught most of them today. So I have a feeling people are gonna run up the river. They're gonna run way down the river. And being boat 102, the wakes will be able to settle by the time I get there. Um, I won't have much top water time left. So I'm gonna hit top water in the morning and then I'm gonna have to slow down and finesse them. So two baits to do that. I got me a black and blue jig on and this is a wire jig by Fish Hog Tackle. Three quarter ounce for the deeper areas, plus there's current. So I got that baby on. I need to retie it still. And then I got on this little shaky head right there with a little trick worm. Good morning, guys. They are calling boats. They're on boat number 10 already. And 
we're relaxing. I'm out here fishing with Justin today. We're gonna try and get on him. But we're in no hurry today. Why is that? Because we're boat 102 out of 104. So we got about, I don't know, a half an hour to wait for all these boats to get out of here. But we get to check in an hour later, so we'll get an extra 30 minutes of fishing, I guess. But I'm excited. If you did not see the practice videos, go check those out, see how we did. I'm excited. Um, hopefully we can catch some good ones today because there are some good ones in here that, that bit during practice. So anyways, we're gonna get out here, try to go catch them. Hope the Lord blesses us with some good fish today. I'm excited, let's go catch them. All right, guys, here we go. Boat 102, all the boats are out now. There were 104, <laughs> and we're starting here. Nobody's here, so that's a good sign. Here we go. Pray the Lord blesses us with some fish today. Some big bites would be great. Sun's already way up. They start these tournaments way too late. Way too late, but it's all right. We're gonna start with the buzz bait anyway. Try to get a few on top water here. Dude, this thing is done. his popper's caught in the side of the wall. I don't know if here. I've ever seen that. Let me uh, back you up. No, that's crazy. It's, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Back to the buzz game for a little bit. Are we doing enough of that today? <laughs> I haven't fished any of this. I just figured I'd fish it today and save it. Them release fish get out of there pretty quick normally. I mean, you get your few that stick around, but fish swim four miles an hour. If they want to go somewhere, they're four miles away in one hour, you know? Yeah. You can't bank on where they were, which is what us fishermen always do. <laughs> yeah, memories of yesterday right now. Shoot. <laughs> Got a little wind now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might have been. Better watch out, fish. It was pretty windy yesterday morning after the sun came up. Kind of like this, I guess. I don't really care how big or small you are right now. Let my 3 16th sink down 20 foot real quick. Takes a little bit. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? My rod snapped, but I got one. Oh, he got off. No way. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, that's pathetic. That's nice. I lost my fish because of my rod snapping. Wow. Well, there might be a couple on there. Yeah, we'll we'll retie up and I'll hit it again. But that's pitiful. What kind of rod is that? It's a cadence rod. It's a good rod. I've used it a ton. But that was not good. It was its time. Man, that's unfortunate. It didn't hit nothing, was it? No, no. It just flat out snapped. That was a good fish. Twenty foot deep. Three sixteen shaky head. What we got here? My goodness, bro. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> it couldn't have been that big of a fish. And I was down there so deep, my line had plenty of stretch. All right. A few minutes later, rig back up, another rod. 
going back to the same spot here and we're gonna let that baby sink down another 20 feet 3 16th ounce shaky head wow super weird I don't know how, but my line is super curly right now. My line was not curly before I did that. I don't know what happened. I'm so confused, man. This is the same reel. I'm so confused. I don't know if that just put a certain amount of stress on my line or what because this is unreal i can't do this this line's way too curly now that's the weirdest thing i've ever seen my line literally is like it wasn't like this before no. look now at it look it. at it it can't it won't even fall <laughs> super weird i think i just stressed it out when that rod cracked that's crazy. Well, that was cool. Well, I learned something there. <laughs> yeah, you learned that your Great line, garage, your line's jacked. Your line can be jacked. Well, I've broken them before, but that's never happened. Well, that was something new, guys. I broke a rod, and it put so much stress in my line it was too curly to fish with. So I threw it on the spinning rod. Good one. Come on, buddy, stay on. He was around the bridge. He felt a lot bigger than that. <laughs> he felt a lot bigger than that. All right. Oh gosh. Thanks for the net. Yes, sir. Oh my. There you go, guys. First one of the day for me. 12 incher. Little 12 incher. I think he's 12. Yeah, he's 13. Okay. Thank you, Lord. One fish. What? What did you say? You got one? There you go. Oh, my gosh. That's a stud. Wow. Come on. There you go. Nice, dude. dude. Nice fish. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. Woo. Good one. There's a four. <laughs> Give me some. Wow. That's what I needed right there. Yeah. Man. I get the 12 inch on shaky head and you get the four. That's how it goes. We stay here for a couple minutes, huh? I think we're going to stay here. Yep. Good fish. Good like fish. A for a second. And then a... My goodness. <sighs> yeah, that's a stud there. Good job, man. Thanks, buddy. Good job. Thanks for the net. Yeah. I didn't want you to play them any longer. I came up. <laughs> them old spinning rod ones. <laughs> I know. They fight hard. Good fish. That's a stud right there, man. That's what we're after. Man. You got me jealous of that one. Shoot. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know, seriously. Can you bring to go chilies to the dock, please? And I cast, how far up was that? I cast like halfway up that already. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. I didn't cast up that far. Two bites in a row, that gives me confidence to milk milk all this a little more. That'd be all right.
There's one. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Nice. Thank. Thanks. All right on the teamwork today. I know it. We each got two. We ain't messed one up. <laughs> we each got two, but yours, uh, your one weighs more than four of these ones would. I better make sure he's 12. Yeah, he's 12. That's right. Oh, we'll get him. What? Is he all the way under? Hey, yeah, he was, he was out in the middle right there. He was further back, but he was out. <laughs> I reached. Oh, oh my god. That was 100% my fault, dude. There you go. Good one, man. Wow. All right. Right on the edge of that grass, huh? Yep. Nice. Yeah, All there's right. a two and a half. Good job, man. Thanks, dude. Thanks for getting them. Yeah, I, I was like underhanded. And... Bro, I was trying to mess that up. <laughs> Did the best I could to mess it up for you. Still got me. He landed in the net, thank goodness. I know, dude. In the grass. Maybe I should go flip grass the rest of the good. day. Yeah, he's been up shallow. Yep. All right, guys. I can't believe I'm measuring this fish, but he might be 12 inches. He is 12 inches. That's pitiful. Pitiful. I'm putting this in my live well. That's sad. <laughs> Come to Alabama, folks. Come to Alabama. Catch the donks. They're all eight pounds here, I promise. They're all giants here. That's why we moved here. <laughs> oh my. He was right on that corner. I fished that corner on the way in. Right, yeah. They're just swimming around. Nice. Oh, B12. He's 12, bro. Is he? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll measure him, though. I don't know if he's 12 or not. That little shaky head is getting him. Wow. I don't think he is. Measure him. Where's your stick? It's uh, right, right here. Oh. I don't think he is. <laughs> I think he's like 10. Yeah, he doesn't look 12. But he ain't good enough. 11 and a half? <laughs> he is close. He is close. Old shaky head, still catching the dinks. Yeah. Little dude. Yeah, he's so small. So small. I didn't think I had one for a second. He's there's no way he's going 12, right? There's no way. He is ten and a half. <laughs> Twenty foot deep on a bridge piling. All right guys, that was super rough day. Way different than practice yesterday. And I tried to adjust, tried to fish some different stuff, and we did not find the fish. So I talked to some guys, they caught some. Some ran like an hour up the river, guys. BFL tournament running an hour, man. You gotta go where you gotta go to catch some fish sometimes. And what you're familiar with, like I said, is my first time on the lake yesterday. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, wow. So yesterday morning pre-fishing was good, but afternoon was tough, and today all day was tough for us. So my co's got four though. He, he caught that one four pounder on a bridge. I think he'll probably be in the money with that. I hope so. We're gonna go weigh him in here, and 
I'm gonna weigh mine in anyway. You always just weigh them in. We'll talk to you guys here in a minute after we weigh them in. My co ended up having 10 pounds, five ounces for his best four, and he pulled out the dub at this tournament. He won the BFL on the co angler side. Makes me feel a lot better because uh, it was a tough day out there. I had three pounds, 10 ounces for my three fish, and I got 71st. So I beat like 35 other anglers or 33, I think there are 104 boats. I beat 33 other anglers. That's like one third of the field for having three 12 inches. That's how tough it was. Kind of crazy. But let's check out his trophy. Let's see that, Justin. Look at that. That's beautiful, man. Congrats. Thanks, buddy. Couldn't have done it without you. It was a good time. It was a good time. We're gonna have to go fishing again. We will. We'll go down to Seminole and wear him out in yeah. the grass. That'd be a blast. He lives down in by Panama City near Seminole in Florida there so we're gonna have to make a trip down there do some punching and frogging but yeah had a good time and you guys come up and do a BFL just pray that you get this guy as your boater <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> See, it anything else other than that ain't gonna work out so. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it man thank you no, no hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll catch you next time here on fishing with Norby